a bassist who played with the likes of Sir Elton John, David Bowie, and Paul McCartney, has died aged 86. Members of Herbie Flower's immediate relatives verified the news of his death on Facebook. Notable pop artists who worked with the legendary bassist have resorted to social media to share their condolences. Burgess wrote, Farewell, Herbie Flowers. He made the great sound greater. In an X post, following the news of Herbie Flowers' demise in the past few days, Bowie's estate released a statement paying respect to the star's longtime colleague. His broad list of collaborators with Bowie and others is too extensive to mention here. He was a hilarious man with a lovely spirit in addition to his extraordinary musicianship spanning decades. We shall grieve his loss deeply. Flowers began his career in the 1960s as a session guitarist, performing for famous producers like Tony Visconti and Shel Talmy. He was born and brought up in Isleworth in 1938. His subsequent 1969 participation on Blue Mink's Melting Pot, which peaked at number three in the UK, led to his actual membership in the band. The bassist, whose given name is Brian Keith Flowers, started working with major performers of the era after the band became popular. He contributed significantly to the 1972 hit, Walk on the Wild Side, with his distinctive twinned bass line, which was featured on Reed's groundbreaking Transformer album. In an interview with the BBC from 2005, the astute musician disclosed that he had the bass line idea since he thought she could earn twice as much as a session musician if she played two instruments. David Essex's 1973 single, Rock On, included his subsequent notable collaboration. The song's polyrhythmic backbeat was achieved through the use of a groundbreaking slapback effect. On Tumbleweed Connection, 1970, and Madman Across the Water, 1971, he collaborated with Sir Elton John. Herbie Flowers became a member of T-Rex not long before Mark Bolan passed away. Dandy in the Underworld, their last record, came out in 1977, and he was a guest on Bolan's Mark TV program. The bassist co-founded the instrumental prog rock band Sky and contributed to seven of their albums, 